Today I'm reviewing the Espresso 17 inch Pro display by an Australian company called Espresso. The funny thing is I was scrolling through my X feed and that's kind of how I discovered this brand because I thought it was a coffee company to be honest. And I went to their website to check it out and I discovered quickly that they sell portable displays and I was pleasantly surprised because to be honest with you, portable displays bore the hell out of me because a lot of them suck. But this company actually is doing something different and I'm gonna explain in a little bit. This video is not sponsored. They did send me the product to review but I'm making this video because I want to and all thoughts are my own so there's that but uh, let's go ahead and get started. To be fair a name is nothing without a great product to back it up. This display separates itself from the competition by adding pen and touch functions to both Apple and Windows devices and I think Linux as well. The display works seamlessly with USB-C so I just plug it into my M1 Mac Studio sitting right here and it's flawless. As long as you install their software for touch and pen functions there's no hassle there. The 17 inch Pro display comes with the stand and it literally just magnetizes to the back. It's pretty much Mac safe to be honest, but it works really, really good and it will not come off. And I really like the stand because it's lightweight and you can bring it everywhere with you. There's also an optional battery pack that you can buy with this and they were supposed to send it to me, but they didn't, but I'm okay with it because this display sits on my desk at home and um, it's powered with USB-C, so I don't need that. But nonetheless, it's cool that they offer that. But again, you just literally take it off whenever you wanna bring it with you to a coffee shop or whatever, and you could just put it back on when you get home. Really, really cool. Let's talk about their software for a second because it actually works pretty good. Espresso Flow allows you to turn your display into a touchscreen and works on Apple and Windows devices. This software also comes with Jot, which gives you control over your pen and adds additional features that many will find useful. As of recording this video though, Jot has yet to come to Windows devices, so that will be coming soon. However, if you're on a Windows device, you can just simply plug the display in and it works natively with Windows built-in pen support. The only downside is you will lose all the features that Jot has to offer, and of course, if you're a Mac user like me, you will need Espresso's proprietary software for the pen to actually work since there's no native support there. I found Jot especially useful with its pen shortcuts that allows you to do things like screenshot anything and you know take notes over it. You can also disable this pen shortcut and make it a right click instead. If you're buying this as a dedicated drawing tablet, there's much better options out there. Of course, this pen is not perfect. It's not going to give you the perfect straight lines that you're used to on an iPad Pro, for example, with an Apple Pencil. But I will say I tested it out in Photoshop on a few of my designs. I was doing some masking with a soft brush and it worked perfectly for my use case scenario. So in short, if you're an artist, yes, you can get by using this, but you're probably going to want to look into other options such as an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. Before I discovered Espresso, I used an iPad Pro with Sidecar and I was constantly dealing with Sidecar filling and disconnecting from my Mac Studio. I went through all these troubleshooting um, options before I gave up and just accepted it. Luckily with Espresso, I don't have this issue since it acts like a normal display and connects with USB-C. The connection is solid and it utilizes software for the touch and pen function. So again, I don't have any issues there. If Apple improves Sidecar and actually gets it to work, I will definitely buy another iPad and I'll have an Apple Pencil because you just can't beat the displays and the Apple Pencil just works seamless. And um, I don't think anything on the market can come close to it. But moving on to color accuracy and brightness. The display has a peak brightness of 450 nits, which is just okay. That's to be expected from a portable monitor, of course. Where it lacks in peak brightness, it definitely makes up for in colors. This monitor actually uses DCI-P3. Sitting next to my Apple Studio display that's like $1,500, it actually looks really amazing. Espresso is a startup from Australia with a small team and they are doing things larger companies fail to do which is make great products it's that simple i'm excited to see what they make next what do you guys think about the display let me know in the comment section below and if you guys want more videos like this reviewing products also let me know and maybe we'll line something up 